what does break the bias even mean? And if we've all got a bit of bias, does that even really matter? <laughs> all right, well, understanding bias and reducing it has actually been my wheelhouse for over 20 years, writing books, presenting to audiences, and helping individuals get ahead when they may have been the only person like themselves in the room. So I'm Dr. Suzanne Doyle Morris, and I am absolutely delighted with this year's theme of Break the Bias. How important is that? The term unconscious bias has, I think, become a bit of a convenient excuse for poor decisions that too often leave really competent people marginalized. But in an intersectional world, well, let's be honest, there really is no place for bias, whether it's unconscious or not. <laughs> because we are collectively so much smarter than that and know that if we really want to progress, well, we're going to have to move beyond bias. So we clearly have some big challenges ahead. But we're done with just talking. So the good news is that there are things, very practical things you can do to break the bias and I can actually help. So for example, language is important because it has some real power. <laughs> it's in the way we describe ourselves, other people, and even the roles that we hold for ourselves. Language, but it can be misinterpreted and could be done so much better and in a way that completely breaks the bias. So let's challenge, for example, the way we overvalue confidence. I mean, does the world really need more showy, but often empty bravado? The truth is we all recognize that it's actually skill expertise and competence <laughs> and the hard evidence that those provide that really matters and move us all forward. Next, it has taken a global pandemic to bring flexible working to the table of many organizations. But the irony is that the last two years have demonstrated that flexibility actually works better and is even more profitable than many people even imagined. Yet bias around the words flexible or remote working still remain. But we will only progress if they are a key part of what building back better actually means. And finally, we put a lot of stock into who earns and for whom. I'd actually argue that bread sharing is a more accurate but also egalitarian term of de way, describing today's earners because in real people's lives actually earning is a joint venture that fluctuates over time so even at a simple level our words really matter and if you want more practical headway towards breaking the bias or getting people to challenge their assumptions about words and so much more <laughs> get in touch because I'd love to work with you on this International Women's Day and beyond.